Hey guys, today is a beautiful day uh, in the garden. It's like 50 degrees and I'm gonna do some planting of a couple things that I picked up from uh, the garden center earlier this week. I'm like, these were originally $7.98, but I got them clearance for two bucks. So yeah, this is a purple. Ah, it's looking red, pinkish on the video but um, it says that it's, what does it say? It doesn't give a color description, but yeah, this is a cone flower and you see it attracts butterflies. And of course, I love that it's drought tolerant and it's great for my growing zone. I'm like to minus 40 degrees. I definitely don't get that cold, but it's nice to know that this will survive down to that extreme temperature. So yeah, I have um, three of those that I picked up. And I also have some some variegated liriope. I'm gonna put this out front. I have a, a border in the front yard that needs a little something there. So I'm gonna, I got, what about two, four, six, seven, there were only um, a handful of them left and I picked out the ones that appear to be the healthiest. And I have one tomato here that I picked earlier. I think you saw it in one of my other videos. I kind of just leave them out here and let them ripen as they please. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to give everybody some fertilizer today. So I got my handy dandy 511 here that I'm going to mix up with some of my, if you see those um, buckets over there, the orange one and the white one, um, I have some rainwater in there and a couple of banana leaves that had fallen off the tree. So yeah, I'm going to give them some 511 and some rainwater and that's, that's what's on the agenda for today. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm working on this uh, bed here in the front. I wanna put some liriope down. I have a couple of things already planted here that I'm hoping will fill in this bed in the springtime. this is the finished product of the cone flowers that I planted earlier today. I planted them along the fence here. I'm like, I already had a couple in this spot before, but I just added the new ones that I picked up um, at the garden center. I believe I have probably like 10 along this fence here. And there's some flocks. I have a flocks that I left in there. I feel like I probably need to get one more to round it out. But yeah, that's the um, end result of that. And I have my one little sad blueberry here. But look at those leaves, they're beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go around to the front and show you the variety. This portion 
of my front yard gets um, shade for the first half of the day. But you can see the liriope there. Oh my god, I have lamb's ear there and my one mum. And there is a, you can hardly decipher it with all the leaves, but there's a corbel right here. And there's Dusty Miller, which appears to be hardy in my zone. This is like the third year that I've had it um, because it's always sold as an annual, but I've left it here and it's continued to grow. And I even discovered, I don't know if you can see that, but it produces a yellow flower on it. Yeah, so this is the Dusty Miller. So yeah, that's the, what I ended up dealing with, the liriopes there. So you can see them there. All right, yeah, that's it. I'm like, my leaves are almost done. This tree, she's finished. But I have one more that has yet to drop all of her leaves and I need her to do that so I can be done with collecting up leaves. I'll look at my red tree. I'll look at my neighbor's uh, maple over there. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you for spending a few moments of your day with me. I would like you to please like, subscribe, and share. All right, have a nice day. Bye.